It is time, I do believe for the old clock on the wall, says it is time for a song! Song. Yeah. 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 Hey. Settle down to these swabs. <laughs> it's okay, it happens to everyone, it's perfectly normal. Yeah. <laughs> when we cue you, let forth with an enthusiastic, nerd rage style piratical R like this. R! Hits us two times. R! Hits us. Times. <laughs> That's the most accurate one yet. Yeah. The precision of this crowd is astounding. <laughs> the end of that R was slightly irrational. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be that kind of night, is it, Savage? I was wondering what fucking mathematical proof is slightly irrational. <laughs> There's a little bit of entropy. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It'd be great if we could reduce the entropy. <laughs> I don't know. That's really, I mean, you know, the whole entropy with the. Okay, sure. Yeah, great. Right. I, I can't wait to go home, and go home uh, after the set and, and research all of this shit. <laughs> what you can do is look up the relevant XKCD and it'll walk you through it. Yeah. <laughs> Zombie Richard Diamond is just waiting to educate me. My favorite, favorite part about Woodstock is that I can make a relevant XKCD joke, and two thirds of the audience is like, oh my god! Yeah. I made that joke too! Only here is an XKCD reference and applause line. <laughs> and the other third of the audience is saying, I thought of that joke first. <laughs> Repost! It is. 11.07, we have not even begun to start the song. I don't think we got to the first chord. Oh, no, 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 I chorded it. Yeah. Like, yeah. let, let us uh, practice one more time. Arr! Is it my hearing aids? I didn't really hear that one. Let us try that again for the benefit of the elderly gentleman on stage left. Arr! That felt good. <laughs> well done. It's all about you, isn't it, Adam? <laughs> In my brain, it is. <laughs> Ah, uh, wow. On behalf of Woodstock, thank you again for an incredible show. It is really all about how awesome you guys are that we have so much fun up here. I hope you've had half the fun that we've had, which means that you'd be a quarter as awesome as, I don't know, math. <laughs> yeah, checks out. Okay. Yeah, good. Slick talking, Johnny Physics. <laughs> Slow down the way. <laughs> something up there. <laughs> yeah, they're rehearsing a lot up there. <laughs> not in Colorado. <laughs> or are we? Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> that would be awesome if we had, like, managed to just, like, dig up this entire building, put, like, engines, silent engines underneath it, and move everyone to Colorado during the second half of this show. We've certainly so, had time. So basically turn Woodstock into Crawl. Yeah. <laughs> and actually by the time this song is over, we will have been able to have moved the audience from Colorado all the way back, back to, to San, San Diego. Diego. Yeah. Via the Far East. <laughs> That's great. All I need to do is get my glade crow. <laughs> <laughs> nice glaive, Savage. I Wake me up when you get it chrome. <laughs> Are those jewels real swabs and crystals? I don't know. I'll have to ask the widow of the web. <laughs> That's right. I hope you're all from 1983. <laughs> if you are, I'm going to fly my Zardoz face to land on your lawns. <laughs> fly my Zardoz face. <laughs> That's the creepiest euphemism I've ever heard. 
And that's coming from Adam fucking Savage. <laughs> Zardo's face is what I named my boner. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not bad weeping is what my wife calls me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would like to apologize to our sons in the audience, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I, I do believe Will has won the House Cup this term. <laughs> <laughs> and he's drinking from it right now. <laughs> Winning the House Cup is Will's Eucharist for <laughs> Sometimes I come home and I'm like, who's ready for spicy dick milk? And his wife is like, geez, I wish once he could capture the fucking snitch. <laughs> Oh boy. How you doing back there, Jason? 
Oh, I'm sorry. You woke me. <laughs> you don't want to wake the Jason. <laughs> That's somebody's band. Come on. I don't know, foreigner. Jason Bottom's finest hour. Definitely. <laughs> Jason Bottom was a foreigner? Yeah. He's really? Currently, he's currently, probably tonight, he's in foreign or something like that. Wait. Yeah. Jason Bottom. Bottom. John Bottom's son is in foreigner now? My dog's name is Bonzo after, obviously, John Bottom. Yes, he's in foreign. How do you not know this? <laughs> for not being up to date on the movings and shakings Dude, before. This totally feels like the first time. <laughs> <laughs> this moment in rock drumming history is brought to you by Zildjian. Zildjian, fine makers of symbols. <laughs> also brought to you by Booth's Farm. I'm true, as you can see, I am a Sabian man. I've been a Sabian man since 1994. Thank you. <laughs> Did you see us? <laughs> Did you just pay for your trip to San Diego? I haven't paid for a symbol for, for 20 years, and it's because I don't ask for very many. Uh, isn't Sabi the company that made the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? <laughs> no, they're the ones that make that chair that ladies sit on. <laughs> I'm sure it's possible. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Let's bring yeah, things back into the mind. body of the song. Yeah. Which was, remember when we were singing a song? Me neither. <laughs> From uh, after drinking up their pay, they staggered through the town. But all these in public houses turned the sailors down. DJ Jackson R. R. Oh, that's a lot of sad pirates. <laughs> It also sounds like we lost a little bit, like they're really dejected. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sad? Arr. Are you dejected? Arr. Are you dejected because you're sad? Arr. Are you sad because you're dejected? <laughs> sad, sad, sad oh, shit right now. Arboros. <laughs> The snake is your neighbor. <laughs> when you're losing the audience, the trick here is to get more esoteric. That's my Todd Rundgren cover. Storm, how do some uh, motion effects in the back? Yes, yes, you're very good at, at that particular emotion. Let's see how you do when we put you to the test. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear a, a hungry R. Uh, let's hear a zombie R. Same thing but focused on brains. <laughs> Give us a, um, uh, let's see, a confused R. Give us a Scooby Doo R. Same thing, extra brains. <laughs> Today I learned Scooby Doo is a zombie. <laughs> Wow! Uh -oh. <laughs> and he would have gotten away for it too if it wasn't for you and them boot stalkers. <laughs> would have gotten away for it if they weren't the fast zombies. <laughs> oh, don't get the fucking fast zombie slow zombie shit started. <laughs> We're already going to be here all night. <laughs> <laughs> They'll come to stage like ants. <laughs> Some of us are veterans of the Star Wars Star Trek War. We can handle the zombie fast slow war. <laughs> Oh, you slow fast zombies. Oh, you think you've had such a big fight. <laughs> you have no idea. You just sit there in your little post Jar Jar world and you feel all safe and comfy and you need to argue about stupid bullshit like zombies. Yeah. Some of us have really been through the shit, man. Guys, I hate it when old man Wayne starts talking about his time in the war. Yeah. I spent that time in the war so you could complain at me. Just head on down to the Starfleet VFW and talk about it. Oh, don't worry, they'll hear all about this! 
<laughs> hey, hey man, have a good poker night there. Yeah, have a good poker night. Uh, Three dimensional poker, thank you. <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> I do believe we left off, oh, so very, very long ago at Dejectinum. The captain said, fear not me, lads, you all can come with me. I live just around the corner, and you all can stay for free. Hopeful R! Arr! What kind of socks you like best? Argyle! What theater are we in? <laughs> and who came out on stage at the very top of the show? Neil Gaiman are. I'm sorry, I got over enthusiastic. Who be your favorite Starfleet exit? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Way too fucking long. <laughs> that needs to be an animated gif. Three this morning. Well, oh, it's, no, it's done. It's, it's, now. That's all. it's, it's done. It's now. It's the top link on Reddit now. What was, what was that? No, he was uh, signing the lyrics to it. <laughs> <to, laughs> that's right. I was signing the lyrics to Fuck Her Gently. Thank you very much. Thank you for Thank you for finishing the joke. <laughs> Dejected R I've ever heard. Oh, okay. no, I'm here, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is one sad myth buster. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get for that, I'm gonna give you back the rim shot that I was gonna penalize you for for bad Loar. <laughs> <laughs> so don't rim shot here, make more square. This is such a complicated scoring system. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing like musical cricket. I've gotta keep track of this all loaded on wine too, so it's, it's, <laughs> what other Star, did we see this evening? <laughs> and who came out to read her awesome story about gaming just a short while ago? <laughs> yep, there's lots of names that end with R. <laughs> Who's your favorite Star Wars character from Mon Calamari? <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> a trap. That is a thing that he said a lot. <laughs> Self rim shot. What's the thing the Empire spent a lot of money on but decided not to guard their little exhaust port? Yes. And who is your least favorite character from the entire Star Wars universe? Did always, you, always unanimous. Yeah, did you, sure. did we did this thing, Jamie and I did this thing for Discovery of Jamie and Adam have a pint and talk about movies, which was weird because we never actually do that. <laughs> and I don't know if you saw it, but they asked us who our favorite characters were, and I said, well, actually, I'm not sure I have a favorite character movies, but I can tell you my favorite non-human character is Chewbacca. Chewbacca! Yes. Chewbacca! Chewbacca's the greatest non-human character ever, and Jamie followed that with, I hate Chewbacca, he's no better than Jar Jar. Jamie Hunterman plays a dangerous game. <laughs> Storm, Storm, give me a little pensive uh, guitar music. Pensive music? Just like pensive picking guitar music. And kids, that was the day that I learned that all the years I had spent watching Mythbusters <laughs> were years that I really wish I could have gotten back. <laughs> because though Jamie Hunterman is incredibly skilled in scuba diving and blowing things up, is probably the very best automatic Wolford Brimley cosplayer that ever <laughs> Well, Jamie Heinemann just didn't understand Star Wars the way every other person in the world does. <laughs> Made things awkward when I go to dinner parties at my friend Adam Savage's house, but somehow I think that when I invite Jamie into the back patio and hit him in the back of the head with a shovel, <laughs> Bury him under 
400 pounds of rocks. I was really doing the world a favor. And kids, that's why Ashton Kutcher is the new co-host. <laughs> Strange the truth. <laughs> the strangest Wonder Years closing I've ever heard. <laughs> All right. I still never learned how to talk to women. <laughs> and that's how I met your mother. <laughs> uh, where the fuck are we? Uh, uh, we're we're lost. somewhere over the Pacific. We're going to get back to San Diego. It's 11.25. Let's wrap this shit up. Where are we in Hopeful R? Is that where we're at? Wife awoke up upon the break of day. They say that you could hear her wailing clear to Bonnie Bay. Oh, she was no fucking noobs. <laughs> wow. I swear, it's really hard to find good audiences these days. <laughs> At these rates, anyway. <laughs> okay. We're gonna count to three. Yeah. No, you know what? You just lost your turn. Where is it? Where is it? All right, everybody, shame that guy. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. No, 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 no. No, he's he can't wait. He's punished himself enough. But when everybody else gets to go R one last time, you do not. You have, you have to punch yourself in the face. Yes. Whoever we're sitting near that guy. Sorry, man. It's the law of the sea. If they try and make noise when it's time to R. You may punch them in the face. <laughs> you have official legal permission from the founders of Woodstock. Uh, actually, you said permission is not actually permission. Legal permission may not apply. <laughs> Please do not punch him in the face. <laughs> it's a metaphor. Ask your doctor if she has the right for you. <laughs> if you're erected last longer than four hours, consult the doctor. <laughs> Usual reactions are being punched in the face. <laughs> yeah. If your captain's wife's the bed lasts more than 45 minutes, please see the doctor. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna count to three. Most of us are gonna do one last star. We're gonna finish this goddamn song. Alright. Everybody? Shh. Wow, they got actually quiet. Yeah. The, the riddle and spray finally kicked in. <laughs> The riddle and spray finally kicked in as my new kids on the block cover. <laughs> Just have to say, there's been a distressing lack of cover bands in this movie. That was going to say, that's a nice one that's going to be out there well. Yeah. Thank you. By the way, uh, we didn't have a picture of it, but uh, the Paul and Storm organization all has, also has a brand new shirt for sale. Uh, it's, it's the blue shirt up there that says, I endured blank minutes of the Captain's Wife's Lament at the blank Paul and Storm concert. <laughs> Comes with a magic marker so you can update your stats. <laughs> all right, letter 28. Let's close her down. You guys ready? You guys ready? I'm I was born ready. Let's do this shit. Oh. One, two, three! Oh. Somebody said they're seeming all around the bed, seeming on the floor, seeming in the bathroom, behind the car door, seeming in the front place, and seeming in the hall, the labor room is talking to see the wrong wall. Oh, 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 Excited, <laughs> we'll see you at the stage door. <laughs>